Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I have here the lovely Jackie. Woohoo! And this is Wife Wednesday. Yay! So, Jackie comes up with the topics. So, no, you came up with this topic. I did? I don't, you said we should talk know. about your kidney stone. <laughs> you know what we should do? Hit him Hit with him a with picture! A picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, for those of you that are international, that's a, a U.S. quarter. It's about an inch or something. You complained about that? Uh, what do you mean, complain about what? I mean, you were, like, laying in bed for a week making a big deal out of that tiny little thing. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I complained about that. At least, you know, you go through all that and you think... Should I get something better? Like a marble. Something I could put in a, like a ring. Like. <laughs> like real stuff. My real diamond should come out of me after that. That would be like if you had to suffer through a like a, a diamond stone and all of a sudden you pass like an engagement ring. That yes. Would be, that'd be so cool. <laughs> that would, you're, this is genius. I wonder what kind of pressure kidneys have in them. Like if I could implant coal into kidneys. Not nearly enough pressure. I don't think so. No. I don't think it's the right ingredients either. Coal? Doesn't it get pressed into diamonds? No, no, I meant the right form? ingredients in your body. Like Oh, you, you don't think coal in urine makes a lovely diamond? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is just going down. Now. But, but you took care of me. And I did. The children and you the were dogs, sick. and everybody's alive. You know, so I'm so happy. <laughs> they, yeah, if they're alive, my job's done, baby. Yeah, I'm all set. <laughs> but um, you know, as much as I teased you about, uh, you know, that tiny little thing, yes. you were. You were out. You were in a ton of pain. Yes, I was. She, and I had like, to take serious drugs for it. Jackie's actually really good with pain. And if she's laying on the bathroom floor vomiting just from pure pain, it's good. It's hardcore pain. It is hardcore pain. And so, yeah. I don't know. You were very good because you were like, that's it. We're going. Th that was and my I magic probably moment. I probably yeah. would have like, just laid in bed. Because <laughs> yeah. you're really not thinking clearly. You're just like, I'm in so much pain. I don't want to ever get up off the floor of the bathroom. All day I felt like a genius for that little piece of action. It, so, so what she's talking about was she's. this is the first day that she was in dramatic pain. She was uncomfortable before. Yeah. But she's on the floor. She's throwing up. She's in so much pain. She doesn't know how to deal with it. And... Uh, I'm like, let's go to the emergency room. It's time. It's go time, baby. Yeah. And um, like the 19-year-old version of me did not make these calls correctly. You know, <laughs> I, I remember I had strep throat. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. It was the worst case of strep. Like I found out what happens if you don't get penicillin for your strep throat. It gets horrible. My uvula swelled up so big, it was like the shooter marble. It was like a one-inch sphere. People and are going to be like, what's a uvula? <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing that hangs down in your throat. Like yes. you can see it when you yawn. Anyway, uh, I got amazingly sick when I had strep throat. And that's when I learned doctors make you better. Who knew? Right? I know, but Prior I had to that, been to the doctor. I they thought just didn't know what it was. Doctors were some strange punishment your parents inflicted on you for getting sick. Like, <laughs> and I didn't really think that, but like that was almost didn't how I, I treated them. Didn't I have to take them. you to the doctor? Yes, you did. You, did. you took me to. Uh, we went to urgent care, which is uh, in the U.S. It's like a. It's like an emergency room, but it's not like a full fledged hospital. It's for people who are sick but don't have like broken bones. Anyway, um, yeah. So this was my time. Like I have learned from all my so, years. So let's talk, let's let's just and think said, about this. The nineteen year old you didn't know what to do, but the nineteen year old me knew what to do. Uh huh. And oh, yeah. And now the 7,000-year-old version. I'm not 40 yet. Knock it off. <laughs> and then the 7,000-year-old version of us, uh, you are got it all wrong. I was out of it. And I'm the wise one. I'm glad that you've matured with age. <laughs> all right. New topic. So, Hope has a new boyfriend. Hope does have a new boy Dude, boyfriend. Dude, so um, he's a fencer, and they were headed to a fencing tournament on Saturday. They were both competing. And... Uh, um, he was like, do you make like videos and put them on YouTube? And he's telling me, I was like, yeah, I do. And he's like, dude, I had this conversation in school and, uh, they're like, you know, you're, you're dating hopes gamer tag. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, dude, you don't even know. <laughs> and he's like, no, what? And he's like, dude, she's awesome. And <laughs> like, like, he's just like, yeah, you know, she's a girl I know from fencing. And, you know, we get along really well. And, and that's that. But to the people that he goes to school with, he's like a new, he's a rock star now. He's a rock star. Because he's dating Hope. He was funny because he had his arm around her. You know, What's at, up with that? That's at, a little forward. In front of me. So we were like, Colin ran over and gave them both a hug. And then my friend's That's son came nice over Nice cock locking, also. Colin. That's my boy. <laughs> so it was like this four, this giant group hug. 
I think I snored in him. I laugh. <laughs> yeah, so, but he's very, very nice. I think I just that's my mic. I apologize. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's that's what I like about him. He's nice. Like yeah. that. People oftentimes they write me on Mail Monday and stuff, and they're like, "Hey, you know, which one should I go out with? There's this hot girl. There's this. There's that. And you know, one's close to me, one's far from me. Yeah. And it's always like the one that makes you feel better about you. And that's what she said that he always did. Really? Yeah. He Maybe. always he's, he's aware of you know her feelings when she has them. So that's cool. Yes. That's it, we we me and my friend are really jealous of that. <laughs> Are you suggesting I'm an imperfect person? No, 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 not you, not you. We were just you know, jealous of that for, for no reason. <laughs> uh, you know. But I'm glad she picked him. I just hit my mic again. I'm sorry. Let me fix oh. it. I'm glad she picked him because of those reasons. You know. Yeah. And she, he's he's really nice, so we're really happy about that. But cool. Well, that was Wife Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Bye. Bye. Hey, if you like the video, click on like. Subscribe in the right-hand corner. Is, did I get that right? Top right-hand corner. Top right-hand corner. Uh-huh. Uh, Tactical Tuesday Standoff Domination. Wow. Did you like that one? It sounds interesting. And Mail Monday. Um, no no titles there for me? <laughs> what, did you miss a video? Um, I something about a romantic guy. Yes. And cheating. Yes. And something else. That was the cage fighter. Joe Lozon comes um, in and everything. Joe, I didn't, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a little tired. She never watches my videos, and I think that's for the best. I think it's good. I think you'd be in trouble. Yeah, sometimes I say stuff that I would regret. That, yes. Yeah. All Let's right. just leave it this way. Bye. Bye. <laughs>